All right, hey guys, back here with another YouTube video. And we have a special treat for y'all today. So we came out to Las Vegas for a couple of days. So, you know, I had to go to the Las Vegas airplane shop. So I'm gonna stop talking and let's head inside. I'm gonna start it up here first and of course the big sign that says please do not touch and also inside please do not touch i think back then when sam chewy came here there was glass over this right now but there is not so of course don't touch the models if you do come here yourself they have a wide variety of models just sitting at the terminal by itself and i've they definitely look like they changed them up because a lot of these are newer releases as you can see so yeah like a Moo is back there. If you haven't seen that one, Freedom right there. I'm gonna go to the other side for y'all so y'all can see those models better. Cause there's a lot to cover in this store and I'm gonna try to show y'all every single one of these models in the time that I have remaining here. So yeah, you got all these right here, just really. And if you haven't seen the map before, this is what it looks like and the terminal spread out. This is really nice. And the map's a lot bigger than I thought it was. So yeah, here are these models at the terminal currently. And the map, I don't know. I think this is two combined, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, you have the runway right over here and the two terminal sections and just the wide perimeter that it's in because it takes up really, I want to say like a good one sixth of the store. So it really gives you a size comparison on how big the store really is it's huge and so here are your new released models for those of y'all waiting for the new releases of course las vegas has them here just waiting for y'all to get them so yeah and over here we have some old world war ii world war one aircraft just on the top and then on the bottom you can already see the f-18 to thunderbirds is on the bottom shelf right here. The Canada F-18 Legacy with a Super Hornet F-4 Phantom. The F-4 Phantom is, it's roughly the same size as the Super, Super Hornet it looks like. Yeah, here you go. Let's look at that and of course the F-15. I know the F-15 has never been shot down before and flew back home with one wing, but the F-18 still is my favorite aircraft. So yeah, here you have some planes down here also. Some really old ones, like an AirTran 717. I, I, yeah, these are like really old aircraft just down here on this bottom shelf. And of course you have the Cessna 172s and different types of aircraft down here. This is the 172 scale. This is the, the 172 scale area. And really colorful, not really colorful, but really cool looking F-16 down here. So yeah, here's the CAG for the vampires. And the Blue Angels, the number two F-18 Super Hornet for the Blue Angels. And one of these days, I just really want to get one of these Blue Angel ones and one of these Thunderbird ones over here. I'm going to take you all over there right quick. And yeah, so here you have the Thunderbirds. And I'm glad they have, of course, in the home of the Thunderbirds, they have more Thunderbirds than they do Blue Angel models. And like one of these gift shops that I went to recently, it was only Blue Angel models. And yeah, here's some A4 Sky Raiders over here just it's a, it's a really nice store and a delta 737-700 so yeah so coming over here to 1 200 scale you have a different variety of erj 190s erj 175s looks like some more erj 175s and then a porter e2 i wanted to find a 1 400 also some 
ERJ 145s to the right over here, some CRJ 200s along with a Delta ERJ 175 and a KLM E2, CRJ 700s and 900s. I don't know what these planes are to the right. Uh, do I really know what any of these planes are? Possibly not. If you just want to tell me in the comments, feel free. But I'm just taking y'all up the shelves. ATR 72s, Q400 right here. An Air France ERJ 190 along with some more Q400, some Q200s. And it just keeps going on and getting a lot better. Like it's just a really great looking store. And I haven't taken it all over here yet to see these one 200 scales. So yeah, here they are for your viewing pleasure. Gemini Jets new releases. Like, look at this. So yeah, coming over here, kind of the checkout area. This is the front desk. I'm just gonna show you all over here. I think these are models that people have purchased that are gonna be shipped. Your catalogs right over here. Uh, yep, Airlines Internationals in Kansas City this year. So, unfortunately, I won't be going, but there is an airline store. There's an, like an airline convention in Atlanta at the uh, airplane, I'm sorry, the Delta Museum. So, I'll try to make it to that. No promises, but I'm going to try really, really hard to. So, yeah, wow. It's just, I'm kind of flabbergasted on the fact that I'm actually here right now. Because you just really see this on like, YouTube, of course, the videos, and I'm just finally happy to finally have one of these videos up and here's the spirit of delta triple seven you know i love the triple seven i've actually been on this exact aircraft from atlanta to los angeles to sydney so yeah i have not been on the spirit of atlanta this is the one livery i have not been on i've been on the normal livery the spirit of delta i forgot what the other name was there was like some with some name on it but like this is november 702 delta november is the only Delta Triple Seven Special Delivery I had not been on, and unfortunately they retired now. So yeah, we had this. Of course, my favorite section of one two hundred scale is the Triple Seven area, and over here you kind of get back to just retro. Like you got seven two sevens in here, Southwest. That's actually one of the newer releases. Eastern Delta, Northeast was actually one of the ones before Deltas. Northeast and Northwest, those were the two. I think Delta bought both of them out. I know they bought Northwest out because on the 757, I was on the 757 300 on the way over here and it had a Northwest tag on it. But yeah, just a lot to see here. And also a lot of history in the store without how many people have been here in the aviation community. It's just like even Sam Chewy has made a, a spot here. And like, just wow. So yeah, if you guys see anything you like, oops, did not mean to do that, my bad. If y'all just see anything you like, of course, comment on it. But yeah, here's the Delta 350, Spirit of Atlanta. I'm um, Spirit of Delta. One of these days, let's get on that. Um, here's the Etihad 850 1000. And of course, you got the one of the old mats on the bottom of it, just to dis display them all. Over here, we come to our special price of $30 aircraft. And uh, yeah, this is an Air Canada ERJ-175, by the way. Let's see what this one is for y'all. In Air France, A220, 1-200 scale. Some more 1-200 scale aircraft. And down here, we have some 1-400s. Of course, three, three Freedom liveries, a Lufthansa A380, UPS 747-8. Yeah, this is the ones and Got some down here. I think these are all the same aircraft. Yeah, they're all the same aircraft. And here go your Skymarks models for those of y'all who like Skymarks. Of course, a wide variety of them, per usual. The new Emirates livery A380. There's just a lot to see here. So there's a lot over here.
this air can looks almost looks invisible in the box. I just had to zoom in on that one because you couldn't really see it just in case y'all didn't know what it was. Those are my glasses falling on the floor. Okay. It's a wide variety of them. So yeah, if you're definitely a gym I just enthusiast, I would strongly recommend y'all just come here, even just to look around. Cause it's just, I'm kind of flabbergasted right now. And like, if y'all don't know, I've kind of slowed down on collecting cause I don't really have the space for it right now. Specific because not really the space, but I'm just going to college pretty soon and it kind of stops you from building anything new because especially that last one took so long to really put together. But yeah, here's some 1400 ones. Some new releases. I know I wanted that Southwest 737 200. Uh, I mean, 727. 200. I know I wanted one of those, but I just don't feel like calling anything at the airport. Here's Nevada. This and this. I need to get you guys back. Holy. This is the champion's livery for the Delta 737-800. Oh, I'm trying so hard right now. And this. I need to get that one back also. Oh my gosh. These also. I'm like, I'm just... Just picking them out and these fly to Atlanta now, so I guess I gotta add these to the list also because my um airport really was like planes that have flown in and have flown to Atlanta in the past and could get there now. So I'm like, I'm just looking at these models and I'm just seeing a whole lot. I don't see the Delta A220, but this right here is the US Airways Eagles livery. So yeah, I'm just surprised they still have that in stock. Wow, just look at all this, man. Is this the A321 spirit? Oh my gosh. What? And the American A321 Neo. Y'all have no idea how hard it is to maintain my like just composure right now. Just gotta calm down because I think I'm getting kind of loud in here. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to keep it professional. You know what I'm saying? Wow, just look at all this. I'm just gonna try to go through the entire store on one clean swoop. But there's quite literally what looks like over a thousand models in here. It's so many. And yeah, y'all request I do more, of course, on the one 200 scales, so. Just trying to get those, all those in there for you. And of course, here's your model stands. And yeah, I just really think, like if you're here, at least at least do like five laps because there might be things that you might've missed. Like right over here, under the table towards the back, you have some more one 200 scale models to look at. Of course, these ones are not for sale, so. But just looking at them and just like, wow, if you're, especially if you're doing collecting, like have no idea what the past models had in store, this is it right here. I got like, wow, I didn't even know they had that, et cetera, et cetera. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, here's the terminal buildings. The airport is quite literally right next to us and they're using the Northwest runways to for arrivals. So you're hearing, I'm just hearing a lot of reverse thrust at the moment. And the good thing about this tour that I like so much is they really have all these models kind of out on display. So you don't really have to take too many out the box to see the size of them. Like if you're gonna buy them, I do recommend take them out the box just to see them. Make sure they're clean, looking good, not broken. Cause you don't want to get home, especially like after coming back from a long distance and be like, dang, I gotta go return it so this one's broken. And also carry super glue with you just in case. So here's their shirts, merch, and everything. I think back there is where they make them. 
You got hats, shirts, more hats and shirts with different designs on it. An old American insignia, Cessna, and another airplane shop shirt. So I'm gonna take out over to the one 200 scale in just a second and show y'all all the ones that they have out and so along with the gym that's one 400. Oh yeah, we're still on one 200 scale because they take up a lot of space in here. As y'all can see. And all the different Ants Nav Airlines. Yeah. I got you, I'll be done at 10. Mm -hmm. You mean the airport in the center? That'd be the problem with how to measure all the, um... no, specifically because I don't like having to reach over the thing up at the airport. Are you buying anything? Not today, I don't feel like carrying it to the airport. Positive. Well, not positive, I'm trying not to. <laughs> But like, come over here and look at all the one four hundreds they have just lined up. And here's the airport mats, just sitting back here. Also, Herpa. Of course, in the back also some Herpa vehicles. I. What is this? This is one four hundred scale. Someone make that cup here. I don't know. Probably. <laughs> Look at a Pan Am shirt. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot. Like, cause remember the the old one in Miami. Eastern, wow. Americans over there also. <laughs> remember the one in Miami used to be in the air, um, the Pan Am shop. Yeah, Americans still exist. It's just the old insignia on the shirt. <laughs> so here's Herpa. Pan Am used to be Pan American. There's just a lot of ground to cover in here. Like, there's so much. Like, you see, you're just seeing all these models. Like, you can see all the 1-400s just over here. I'll take y'all through those also. But, yeah, just finishing up the 1-200s over here. I'm going to go to do the 1-200s since we're on 1-200s to the left of me. And, of course, these require more space. So, there's, like, infinite shelves of 1-200, which is why I tell you just to look thoroughly how many there are. It really is impressive. And then, yeah, here's all the one 200s. And these, of course, are the giant ones. There are people like on eBay who have like one 200 scale airports. I'm like, how do you even have the room for this? Because these things are huge. Like, especially these 747s and everything. Oh, no, no. Oh. <laughs> Just there's so much. The Beluga here. So yeah, last but certainly not really last but not least, I gotta show the sky marks bottles up top. But really, just up here you have the eighth radies and ones I guess were just too big to be on the shelves and everything. Here are your one 400 scale. Like you got the Delta Thank You livery. Actually, we should just, just saw that one. Like it flew over the house not too long ago. But I'm glad to see that plane still exist because I have not seen it in so long. Oh, wow. I didn't see the 2007 terminal. Look at that. This in here. Okay, they do have it. How crazy is that? Along with the NBA Southwest 737, was that a 500? In Nevada? What? Okay, I'm glad to see that they still have at least like one of them just sitting in the store. 
rest of like behind the shelf. How are y'all doing? <laughs> y'all collect also? You do? South African A350, this is so much. It's really just impressive. It's a great store. And you hear the Dell Triple Sevens. Of course, I'm, I have the Dell Triple Sevens that are right here. I have all of them except for one and that is the uh the old livery i just gotta get that in ster like look at like the southwest ones like for real like there's just like you see how far back these shelves go and of course i don't have time to like really just get everything in detail for you i wish i could but like i'm just looking at them and it was just, just it's just i'm flabbergasted like it's all these rare models in here like you know how much like all these models alone is equivalent to brand new let alone the value they've gained over the years like look at this crazy oh that is the southwest 737 200 oh cool i found it yeah i have one in the original it's not even a max it's just the original i'm about to oh my gosh look at this if y'all just gotta pause and just take a minute to look at all these aircraft just look because i'm obsessed with one 400 over anything and that's just awesome. Cause look, yep, I had I just got these two, the ones with the folded up and unfolded. So yeah, wow. All right, so last but certainly not least, I'm gonna just gonna show y'all the Skymarks models up top right quick, just so y'all can see those. Because of course, yeah, my job is to get everything in detail for y'all. And I again, probably will they make them? Like yeah, you see the Champions livery for the Delta. 737 right there. Did we even come over here? Did I get these? For you? I got this for you. The, the, yeah, all my playsets are fine. And here's, um, as we come over here, you got some more of the military ones. Like A-10, F-35B. It's a really impressive shop. The B-2 Spirit. Not yet, Kyla's been to that one. That was it. So there's one more view of the um, airplane shop before I get out of here. So yeah, just wow. Just so y'all can map it out. I got all my place hotel. Yeah, I got, cause they were under the table. They were under my airport. Yeah, like I want to say like 60% of those. And also the reason why, another reason why I love coming here so much is like you're with the, like people who come in here, these are your people. Like, you know, you like, that's why also why Instagram, I like Instagram so much is because like it really just connects you to people like this and you come in here and meet them in person. It's great. I love it. Yeah. Oh yeah, here's your day, Ron. That I'm obsessing over a little bit. Here are the aisles. Just with everything in them. It's an amazing store. Just really amazing. I'm trying to fit through these aisles with my backpack on because I'm like trying to record a trip report immediately after this. But uh yeah. I'm just gonna walk outside. And so yeah, I just really hope y'all enjoyed the shop. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. I thank you guys for watching. I did get three models, so unboxing video coming out a fourth surprise one bye you guys nice to meet you and uh yeah i'll see you on the next one deuces